Here is a selection of lakes that no one would probably want to camp near. Number 1. Francetown, New Hampshire is where a lake known as Scobie Lake is situated. There are many stories that have been identified around the lake although, two of them is not known as fact, as it all depends who is telling the story to how it is interpreted. One thing is for sure, a skeleton was discovered in a shallow grave on the edge of the lake. This is where the start of the eerie phenomenon comes from. In 1753 a surveyor who went by the name of Matthew Patton camped beside the lake. He noted in his diary of the notable sounds heard while staying there. These noises seemed like people wailing in the darkness as though they were troubled. David Scobie who uncovered the skeleton while constructing his mill died in the lake when he was 86, when he was moving logs over to the mill on ice, when the ice gave away and Scobie ended up falling in and dying. His family did keep the mill functioning for some time after, not only did Scobie drown in the lake but four people in the 1800s have too. They are also presumably heard whenever the lake has been visited by the living. Number 2. Lake Lania in Georgia is full of mystery when it comes to the accidents, many vehicles have fallen into the water off the bridge, many boats have had accidents with no explanation and swimmers have also lost their lives too. This lake was artificially made in the 1950s. Not long after the dam was built and the land was flooded, a car that was driven at the time by a woman came off the bridge and into the water. Although this woman was not alone as another female passenger was accompanying her on the journey. Their bodies were not discovered immediately and it is said today, the ghost of a lady in blue that haunts the lake is the woman who was driving the vehicle. After some time when the driver's body was discovered, the corpse was missing both of her arms and two toes. It is said by swimmers who survived the ordeal of becoming another casualty say it's like arms pulling you under the water. A diver who has explored the area, says sometimes when searching through the dark depths and put your arm in, you can on occasions feel limbs floating. When the land was flooded, the American military removed everything out of the lake which could be an obstruction to boats. They also moved graves, however. There were many unmarked graves that could not be found, it is said by many that they are the ones that haunt these waters and cause dangerous incidents to people. Another story from the lake is a dark silhouette of a man is said to roam the lake on a raft with a light shining from a single lamp, he appears as quick as he disappears in the darkness. Number 3. Gardner Lake in Connecticut is situated at a junction between the towns Bosra, Montville and Salem, the lake is named after a landowner. A grocer named Thomas LeCount wanted to move to the other side of the lake, instead of building a new house, he wanted to keep his own home. So, Thomas the grocer waited until the lake froze over then he tried moving his house with all contents inside including a piano across the ice. The house became stuck and people tried and helped Thomas get the house free, with no success, the grocer decided it would be easier if the ice defrosted slightly then tried and attempt moving it once again. When spring came and the ice thawed, the house sank to the bottom of Gardner Lake, only leaving the roof above water, for some time many locals fished the lake from top of the roof, now the weather and water has taken its toll on the building. People in the local area say they can still hear the piano play from the bottom of the lake among other strange phenomena of cries from those who have unfortunately drowned in the lake. Number 4. Veterans Lake, Sulphur, Oklahoma. Which is summarized to be a great place to go for recreation during the summer months. The lake was formed in the 1930s as a memorial to American veterans. It has a three-mile shoreline for those that adore outdoor activities. The lake itself spans across six to seven acres. Despite the lake's beauty it also harnesses some darker tales too. In the 1950s a woman and her child were enjoying a day at the lake. The woman took her eyes of her child for a mere moment. That's when her child was struggling within the water. When the woman noticed, she did not hesitate to go and save her child. 
Unfortunately she too got sucked underneath and drowned along with her child. Since then stories have evolved around this lake where passers-by can become victims, especially in the evenings. This lake has also got connections to a kidnapping which ended up as murder in 2015. Number 5. Lake Ronkonkoma, Long Island, New York. Is said to be cursed by a heartbroken native Indian woman who fell in love with a European man, which was frowned upon and was kept apart. It is said that the woman wrote notes to her lover on tree bark and sent them sailing across the water, with no replies back. The story goes that she rode into the middle of the lake and stabbed herself through the heart and ever since her death has dragged men to their watery graves. Another story associated with this lake is that of a lifeguard, who dove into the water and when he came up there was a deceased person clinging onto his back. After that incident the lifeguard never went back to work. Lake Ronkonkoma is the deepest lake in this area. It can be as deep as 10 feet around the edge and 90 feet towards the middle. There are also drop-offs that cannot be seen to the naked eye. This lake has been the place where roughly 160 people have drowned from 1800s to 1970s. Only three of these drownings have been women. In 2017 is when the latest death occurred and it was a female. Now the lake is prohibited to swimmers and a algae bloom has taken the lake, which is a good idea due to the different magnitudes of depth this lake has. Number 6. Spirit Lake, Idaho. The town Spirit Lake is actually named after the lake, not the other way round. The post office in Spirit Lake has been open to the public since 1903. This clear lake is surrounded by picturesque views although most of the time mist does overbear the stunning beauty. It is these misty nights where some people have seen two people paddling on the lake in a native canoe. The story starts with a tribe leader's daughter falling in love, but a jealous native from another tribe wanted her to himself. Now as time and stories have evolved, there are many adaptations of the ending, no matter which one is chosen by any individual, they all lead to tragedy. This is why it is said by many that the native woman and her true love are seen on the lake to this day. Number 7. White Rock Lake, Dallas, Texas. Was farmland originally belonging to the Cox and Daniel family. The town grew with other families. A cemetery was constructed it is the only remnant left since the construction of the lake. Some cabins were constructed near the lake for recreational users during the summer which was turned into a training camp for the army in World War II, then it became a POW camp for German soldiers. An apparition of a woman has been seen by those driving on the road of this lake, the woman is said to be dressed in all white and soaking wet from head to toe. Many people believe she drowned on her wedding night, seems like anyone or anything could be haunting this lake, from a restless spirit from the cemetery annoyed that the land became flooded angry German soldiers that wanted to go home, or a woeful spirit that died no matter how her story is interpreted. Number 8. Stowe Lake, Golden Lake Park, California. Is a beautiful place that has a waterfall, people can rent boats and observe wildlife like ducks and geese. This lake was built in the late 1800s and is a great place for families to picnic during the daytime. At night people tend to stay away from this lake, due to a woman in white, who becomes vocalized to anyone and asks have you seen my baby. It is also known that this woman can be summoned by anyone who repeats white lady, white lady. I have your baby three times. As the story goes, a woman was sat on a bench talking, she did not realize the stroller with her baby in had disappeared thinking the child somehow ended up in the lake, the frantic mother started searching. The woman asked other people if they had seen her baby, then she jumped in the water, after a while the woman did not resurface and Stowe Lake became her watery grave. Number 9. Lake Superior which is located between the states of Michigan, Minnesota and Wisconsin, even Ontario, 
Canada has a piece of this lake. This lake is the world's third largest by depth, when it comes to the surface area of this lake no other beats its size. The lake was formed by the large defrost of the Ice Age, and it is thought the first human habitation was 10,000 years after, and has been habitable since, from the ancestors of the Native Americans up to the Europeans. This lake has held many superstitions throughout the lifetime of populations. Traveling on Lake Superior is like traveling the oceans, with the unpredictable currents and weather which has caused many ships to be wrecked over time, which have led to many ghost ship stories, silhouettes of ships can be seen on the lake. The most famous sinking is that of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Although not as famous is the SS Kamloops which disappeared underneath the waterline in 1927, was found by divers in 1977. The SS Kamloops took 22 people to the depths with her, when it was rediscovered the divers found a body within the engine room, the divers also stated that the body followed them around. Not only is the lake itself haunted but the shores are too, many lighthouses are dotted around Lake Superior as there are many dangers for ships, some of these lighthouses have memorable paranormal stories attached to them. The Big Bay Rock Lighthouse Bed and Breakfast, is where guests have seen a man who is thought to be the groundskeeper, who stands at the foot of their beds wearing full Coast Guard attire. This entity is supposed to show the guests the mourning he has for his son before disappearing. The Marquette Harbor Lighthouse holds a story about an apparition of a little girl who is seen by passers by looking out of a window on one of the upper floors. The Split Rock Lighthouse, which has become a museum, is where some visitors have claimed to see an apparition of a gentleman walking across the catwalk, wearing a full lightkeeper's uniform. Number 10. Lake Tahoe, lies between the states of California and Nevada. The shores of this lake were home to a retired British sea captain Dick Barter, who helped the railroad in the area. Captain Dick lived a life of solitude and only venturing out when needing a drink or ten, he would travel along the lake on a dinghy for beer, then travel the same route home. One evening Captain Dick was too drunk to know any better, with him being a captain he always knew best, well an incident happened on a cold chilly evening where Captain Dick's dinghy capsized. Captain Dick being a determined man as he was, made it back home to his own seclusion. While there he noticed some of his toes had been badly frostbitten, so Captain Dick amputated them himself. After that evening Captain Dick realized that the lake would become the death of him, this never stopped him crossing the lake for the alcohol, instead Captain Dick built a building that was a smaller version of a chapel and engraved a granite stone with his details. While drinking in the saloon, Captain Dick told everyone that if the lake took his life, he would like to be buried in what he built, everyone agreed. One night though, on October 18, 1873, the lake took Captain Dick's life when he was returning home intoxicated, when his dinghy smashed into some rocks. Captain Dick's body was never found, although since the incident his spirit has been seen on misty nights walking a smoky bridge to the resting place that never came to be. If, you were offered 100,000 of your own currency to stay on a boat alone for seven nights. In the middle of one of these lakes. Which one would you choose? Leave a comment below. If you like my videos or any of my content, please, like and subscribe. If you would like to keep up to date with my uploads, please, press that notification bell.